<laughs> okay, but now you're starting to get popping on the internet and you got people like not understanding where you're from and they take issue with, for example, you saying the N-word. How do you uh, deal with that kind of criticism? I mean, like, I I know it's, it's, it's different because, I mean, I, that's where I grew up at. I never had a problem with no, and, and I just don't say it around my homies. Like, I never had a problem saying it, but I'm saying I do understand what people is saying, you know. Mm-hmm. I was ignorant back then. Uh but it's just I, I I don't know, bro. It's just like a word that it's hard. It's hard. I've been saying that shit forever, bro. Mm-hmm. Like my mama, that's what everybody say. I mean, people address me as that ever since I was little. So it was in your psyche. Yeah, like every it was forever, bro. Like I was adopted at seven days old, so I didn't grow up with. And then like I didn't grow up with a white mother. My mother was black pretty much from like birth. Like if you raise a bear with humans. <laughs> hey. and, and 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 that was the line too because like mind you house phone put us on your shit and i start looking at your stuff and then at first i'm just like like i ain't gonna like this this guy like i ain't gonna accept him just saying certain shit and doing anything i'm like i'm like nah i'm not fucking with that shit and when i had a personal conversation with you and you broke down everything i said you know what this makes sense because we got homies all through L.A., you feel me? You got white boys from the hood. You got Mexicans from the hood. People say that they hood respects them. And I seen niggas like smack and everybody like, hey, milk, mm, like like the real niggas from over there. Like, okay, I vouch for this nigga. I fuck with him and shit like that. And I'm like, all right, who the fuck am I to sit there and say, okay, mm, mm. but my thing is, you know. I mean, I'm not, I'm not a yeah, look, look. yeah, my thing is, is that, you know, now that you're on a bigger platform and you're getting more um, attention and stuff like that, I think that, uh, people are going to be watching you and they're going to use stuff as an example. And, you know, getting your story out there will make sense. Like, you know, uh, let's just say somebody somebody from the woods, like you say, you feel me, a little kid or something like that, may see you and say, well, Milk says it's cool. It is cool, but it's like, nah, y'all got a different dynamic. You know what I mean? Like, you didn't grow up like this guy did. You didn't grow up in the neighborhoods and stuff like that. And it ain't cool to say. You know what I'm saying? It's like Nav. Nav used to say it. And then at a certain point, he just stopped. <laughs> He had too many people getting on his ass about it. I mean, know? I had one person say something before. Mm-hmm. One. And that was at a check cashing place, like kind of in my enemies. And I don't even think he's from L.A. And he you was going older. Check, case, check cashing spots in your enemies? Well, yeah, it doesn't sound I, like a good idea. I lived on, uh, where's this, like the last place. I lived on, like right before the, the gas station on Exposition of Vermont. Like right before 8 and p.m. Mm. I think that's 30, 37th or some shit. So King is like the next intersection but that's some people that you know is like uh the enemies or whatever mm. but i went in there and me and my girl was playing you know my girl black so and uh i seen you guys you got your couples somebody, channel yeah somebody Shout said something he, oh i gotta see it i ain't seen oh, it. oh yeah it's cool they got yeah, yeah, yeah. you see his relationship and you're like man milk is out here somebody yeah. somebody said something like he he like like don't he like what you say he he said something because i me and my girl play all day like we play like and um, he said, I don't do that or something. I'm like, what you say? Um, whatever. I'm like, what you say? And um, he said something. And then it just went from like me saying nigga to him. And uh, he like 52, I think. So he wasn't having it. You know, he's mad. <laughs> like I respect it. You know, I mean, I understand it. Like the he he's you know he's older so or whatever. But you know, he's mad and we fought. Mm. It wasn't it wasn't really over that. I think it was just over like. Maybe you having a black girl? Yeah. That's what it be. <laughs> it, it, it really be. Because, like, I'm telling you, bro, I didn't been in front of a lot of people. Like, I'm on a bus when I used to be on a bus or whatever. But I get into, it's a lot of situations, like a lot of eye looks, a lot of situations because of my girl. But, you know. Damn, weird. so you feel like you get more heat from being I do. with her. I get more heat from, from black males, from white males, from... Store clerks, sometimes really? if we ain't dressed a certain way, they probably think we but see, stealing or we up to if, like. <laughs> if that was me, like let's say I'm in line or something like that, and I heard, I see this guy with a black girl and he's doing that, I'm going to get on a nigga too. Mm. Facts, but you know what I'm saying? like, And that's the kind of like what a, what a thin line is, is where it's like, you know, an older guy, like he said, somebody 52 is just like, wait a minute, what the yeah. fuck did you, mm. you know what I'm saying? Like they're yeah. going to take it that way, but. I feel like now, since you're getting bigger, you got the responsibility to let people know, like, like, listen, this is where I come from. This is what it is. This is why it comes out. Because some people are going to sit there and be like, 
I don't understand him. You feel what I'm saying? Or you just got like 15, 16 years old and then you just hop, oh. hopped into a gang and then it's just like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, now it's cool to say like, nah, that shit. You know what I mean? No, the, no, I'm not old boy. I'm not, I'm not, yeah. I'm not old Cameron Terrell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I knew it. Yeah. I knew it. Palace Verde. Yeah, no, I'm not, I, I, I'm really not him. You know, I'm, I eventually, you know, I, I, I don't even want to talk like that. You know, eventually I'm trying to, you know, grow, but, uh, yeah, man, I, I don't know. You know? That, I mean, it's interesting seeing the growth because you are somebody who is sort of building something from YouTube. But the thing is, is that the bigger you get, the more and more you're going to have a fan base that goes way outside of even understanding where you're from or what you grew up around or understanding the fact that, you know, it was acceptable for you to say at a certain point in your life. You know, if you get to a million subscribers, damn near 900,000 of them are not going to understand anything about L.A. street politics, you know? Yeah, I'm 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 very aware. I, <laughs> I didn't already I didn't already I didn't you already see that for sure. Yeah. I didn't already been through I didn't already been through all that. Yeah. Yeah. Is that is it tough getting used to like doing so much shit on the internet when you come from such a different world, different rules? Yeah, yeah, I told you it's tough. That's why I, you know, it took me like three months to even do it, you know. I, I one day I said I'm gonna do it, this today, but it took me like another three months just to even, you know, like record a video. Mm. I mean, it's crazy, too, because, all right, so, like, you be having very controversial opinions sometimes about very <laughs> high-profile people in L.A. I don't even know who I want to, like, necessarily don't, list Don't off. bring nobody up, but. Oh, no, yeah, 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 because there's definitely people that some people here are cool with he, and shit. He would, he would send me, like, so he sends me all of his videos. So, right. at first, I'm like, I don't post it on milk videos. Then I see certain names. I'm just like, oh, man, here it go. Mm. <laughs> milk has been going in, man. Definitely, but. Do you how do how do you approach that? Do you ever have an opinion about somebody that you don't really want to be known as talking shit about because of some street shit or what? How often do you end up censoring yourself? Not a lot. Not a lot. Not a lot. To be honest with you, mm. I mean, I don't think you care. I didn't have videos <laughs> on everybody. Mm. I mean, I, I didn't, and it's crazy because I did a video on a rapper, and um. I did videos on a couple rappers, not really bad, but just, you know, whatever. Like, if they do some shit that's kind of weird and I say something about it, fuck it, it's my opinion. But uh, I had a video get took down because this, it, it, it was the rapper that got it took down. Really? I mean, yeah. Damn. I know for sure, like, I'm positive. You don't want to call him out? <laughs> huh? You don't want to call him out by oh, name? Oh, it's the, it's the, it's the, it don't matter, it's the Almighty Grubber, or whatever his name is. Oh, uh, Almighty Suspect. Almighty suspect. Suspect. Yeah. suspect. Shout out Suspect, he was here the other day. Yeah, Wait, so week. you took issue with him? I didn't really take an issue with him, I just, like, uh, reacted to a video that I seen uh -huh. on the internet of him, you know, uh, getting into a situation. You're right. Yeah. I'm Are wondering if it's it? a video I saw a long time ago that I didn't think ever came out. No, it probably was that one. Oh, okay. And they didn't come out because <laughs> they do they, they they do everything they can to get it they get it do everything they can to you know get it uh, knocked off. Right. And it's very hard to get a video knocked off of YouTube. Yeah. Right? yeah. It's not very easy. So, right. Yeah. Uh, Damn. They put some work in. But so when somebody does that, somebody gets your video taken down. Is it all of a sudden like, and it's a person from LA? Is it all of a sudden like an actual beef from your perspective? Um, not really beef. It's just I know where you at. Like, I, you know, mm. uh, it's sen it's sensitive though because people like, you know, just because somebody gives an opinion on something, you can sit there and say, "Oh, your music is trash." Like, yeah, mm. you feel me? Somebody gonna be like, "Man, boom, 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 boom," and start popping off and stuff like yeah. that. Like, it'd be all type of yeah. shit like that. I'll be going through all that. Mm. Yeah, I've been through all that, all them phases.